Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with the bull. You already know the vibes. Will Aaron Rodgers be in a Minnesota Viking uniform by the end of his career? Because I'm putting two and two together. Not saying that I want Aaron Rodgers, but you just never know. Brett Favre went to the Jets, became a Viking. Aaron Rodgers went to the Jets. He might end up being a Viking. And I'm just going to say this right now. If it means that we get a Super Bowl, why not? That is the biggest question. Why not get Aaron Rodgers if that means that it brings home a ring that we've been wanting for over 40 years? If it means that we get a Super Bowl for the first time in the Minnesota Vikings history, we keep losing the Purple People Eaters with that great defense wasn't enough to get us a Super Bowl. All the great offenses with Randy Moss, Chris Carter, Culpepper, it, 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 we just never won. With all the talented, all-time great players that we had throughout NFL history, we still didn't capture the trophy that we want, the ring that we want. It's not just enough to be the NFC champions. We want a ding on Super Bowl. I'm going to talk my talk. A lot of people are probably saying, nah, bruh, nah. And they're probably laughing at me. They're probably saying, ain't no way I'm going to accept Aaron Rodgers because he was on the stinking Green Bay Packers. I understand what you're saying. But if it means that we get that ring, why not? I'm going to keep on asking that question throughout this video. But I'm going to talk my talk. But before I do that, Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Thank you for vibing with the bull. And make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And happy fourth. Happy fourth, man. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to talk my talk. I'm going to talk my talk about Brett Favre a little bit because it's just a common denominator, the common denominator that I'm looking at right now. Brett Favre in 2009 balled out. Even at his... Age was better than 99.9% .9 of the quarterbacks in the NFL. He threw for over 4,000 yards, to be exact, 4,202 yards, 33 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. We all know how we lost. We all know that the stinking Saints did some things that they should have been doing. I ain't going to say it, but we all know as Minnesota Vikings fans what happened that year. And I'm going to go right back to the Aaron Rodgers because this video is pretty much about Aaron Rodgers, but it's about Brett Favre too because there's a common, denom common denominator. They both were on the Green Bay stinking Packers. All, both are all-time greats. You can say what you want as a Minnesota Vikings fan, but we all know that the Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers are all-time greats. They will be in the Hall of Fame. But the one thing that I want, we are desperate as Minnesota Vikings fans. I know I'm desperate. I want a freaking Super Bowl. I want a Super Bowl before I die. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other Minnesota Viking fans are thinking the same thing. All the Minnesota Viking fans that have been alive for 50 years, that have been suffering all this time watching the Minnesota Vikings lose and lose and lose and almost get there, but just this close away from getting a dang on Super Bowl. This close away, field goal, or whatever happened throughout the history of us being in the Super Bowl, so close but just never got it. But Brett Favre in 2009 absolutely balled out. We went 12-4 and four that year under Brad Children. Had Bernard Barry and Sidney Rice looking like Randy Moss for a year. For a year, he looked really good. Had over 1,300 yards that year, eight touchdowns, by the way. Then we had the Pat, we had the Walls, the William Walls, Pat and Kevin, Jared Allen, my favorite linebacker. This is my personal favorite linebacker. Do not come at my neck. Chad Greenway. Chad Greenway was my guy. You know what I'm saying? And then we had Winfield. We had a great defense. We had Adrian Peterson doing his thing, except for when it counted the most, and that was against the Saints. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. It says he fumbled two times against the Saints in that game. It looked like maybe it's they're counting the fumbles that 
were turnovers. Because if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, he looked like he fumbled every single time he got the dang on ball. And I like AP. I ain't hating on AP. I'm just stating facts. Because I got Adrian Peterson's jersey in the back autograph. I love AP. He's one of the best running backs of all time. But the facts are the facts. I ain't hating. I'm just stating. When it counted the most, he was fumbling like, like you know what. It was crazy how much he was fumbling. He'll break like 10 tackles, and then it'll be this small little tackle, and he'll fumble. I didn't understand it. But we still, after all that, we could have won if the Saints didn't do what they did. And we all know what the Saints did. I'm not going to say. We know as Minnesota Vikings fans. But let me get back to the freaking point. The point is, would you take Aaron Rodgers if that means us getting our first Super Bowl, our first ring in franchise history? How many championships did the Minnesota Vikings have? We got the last champ. If, if I'm not mistaken, correct me in the comments below. If I'm not mistaken, we got the last championship before they turned it into Super Bowl, right? We got the very last championship. I am tired of being the one franchise that won the most that never got a championship. And if it means that we have to get a rival's old quarterback that's going to possibly be in his 40s by the time we get him and he still has a little bit in the tank and, and, and there's a chance we can win a Super Bowl, I will go for it. To be honest with you, I would do it if it means us getting our Super Bowl. I understand 2024, 2023, we might win it this year with Kirk Cousins. But if we don't win it, most likely we're going to draft our franchise quarterback. But what if will Aaron Rodgers play for the Minnesota Vikings? That's my question to y'all. What do y'all think? Leave in the comments below. And it just brings back a lot of memories, man. A lot of pain. I remember a couple years back, we went against the Seahawks. We drove all the way down the field. We drove all the way down the field. All we needed is a, a, a field goal. A field goal. And he shanked it wide left or was it wide right? One of the two. All I know is the field goal kicker missed it. So I don't want to depend on special teams to win a game. I want to just beat the breaks off of every team so we can get our Super Bowl with no ifs, ifs, with no ifs, with no question marks. I don't want it to be, it comes down to the last second, oh, we got to get a field goal to win the game. No, 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 no. I want to beat every team by a touchdown or two. I'm tired of losing. And I will sacrifice my dislike for Aaron Rodgers for a dang on Super Bowl. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for vibing with me. I really appreciate you. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are a Minnesota Viking fan. And best believe we going live after every single Minnesota Viking game. It doesn't matter if we lose. It doesn't matter if we win. We're going to talk that talk. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin said, it doesn't matter what your name is. But my, my saying is, it doesn't matter if we win or lose. We're going to keep on going live and talking that talk, inventing about the Minnesota Vikings, the greatest franchise in NFL history. I don't care that we didn't win the Super Bowl. We are the best. I'm out.